What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I've had this story uh, on my desk for quite some time because this is actually a divorce that happened earlier this month, but now I have the opportunity to get to it, and I will. I want to talk about singer, in vogue singer, Cindy Heron. She filed for divorce from her husband, former Major League Baseball player, Glenn Braggs. They been married for over 29 years i believe and now she is ready to separate what i want to and one of the things when i first saw this and I, I read up on it this was actually sent to me by a subscriber they want to know my thoughts on this marriage is very temporary marriage is very temporary when a woman still believes that she has it she's gonna go and put herself back in the dating market and what's very interesting about Cindy is she still has his name on Instagram. Maybe she just hasn't taken the time to change it. But that lets you know how she was so like a part of this marriage to the point to where she still is presented as Cindy Haran Braggs, even though she's the one filing for divorce. I have said this and, and I will continue to say it. You know, men don't get into marriage just to file for divorce. They don't do that. Men are in marriages for the long haul. They're not there temporarily. Now, you do have some men that will file for divorce, but for the most part, we're in it for the long haul. But there are women who have one foot in and one foot out of these marriages. And you see it now. You see it. It ain't just men complaining. It ain't just men not taking accountability I think for the most part, us as men, we take as much accountability as we can. But there are women who have to be able to take accountability as well, you see, because these relationships don't fall apart by themselves. And also women want the ring. You want the, the ring. You should understand that it's up to both people to make it work. They made it work for 29 years. They have multiple children together. But she wanted out. Not him. You know, he didn't want out. You know, he didn't want to divorce her for a younger woman. He was willing to stay. She was not willing to stay because she believes that she could find somebody else. A lot of these women who file for divorce end up doing that. But what I have noticed, especially with a lot of these celebrity divorces, they're never able to replace the guy they left. She goes to this article from Black Enterprise Magazine. It says, after nearly three decades of marriage, Cindy Haran, a founding member of the hit girl R&B group in Vogue, has filed for divorce from her husband, former baseball player Glenn Braggs. The award-winning singer uh, filed for dissolution of the marriage in Los Angeles County Court, citing irreconcilable differences as the cause of the divorce, according to court documents obtained by The Blast. The former couple were married in 1993 and shared four children together, sons Donovan, Andrew Braggs, Solomon Braggs, and daughters Jordan Braggs and Natalia Braggs. The second round pick of the Brewers in 1983, Braggs made his MLB debut in 1986. He was known for his muscular bound physique. Braggs once made headlines following game four of the 1990 World Series for swinging so hard at home plate that he broke his bat on his back, according to Sporting News. The 59-year-old retired from the league in 1992. Uh, during this time, Haran took the 90s music scene by storm with her famed music group members, Terry Ellis, Maxine Jones, and Dawn Robinson. It's been over 30 years since the seven-time Grammy a nominated group formed one of the most popular girl groups of their time with hits like my lovin never gonna get it hold on the r&b divas proved they had more up their sleeve and reunited in 2018 with their seventh full-length studio album electric cafe after members jones and robinson departed the group Haran formed with in vogue uh, performed with in vogue along with ellis and Rhonda bennett She'll perform on the New Kids on the Block's uh, 2022 mixtape arena tour, according to the Los Angeles Times. So going on tour with New Kids on the Block. 
The 50 plus date tour is slated to start on May 10th, which makes the timing of this divorce very interesting. She she about to go on tour. <laughs> she she filed for divorce in April and she's going to be going on tour in May. A 50 date tour, which means she's going to be on the road for the, the spring summer. She's going to be on the road. She's she wants to have a a a middle <laughs> 60 year old hot girl summer <laughs> at the Heritage Bank Arena in Cincinnati, Ohio, including July 23rd at the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. The legendary groups will also make stops at arenas in Boston, Nashville, Dallas, Los Angeles, and Atlanta. Yeah, it looks to me that she's preparing to go back on the road. She probably hasn't been on the road in a while. Y'all know because of the CV, a lot of these people haven't been touring since 2019. So now they're about to, these people about to go back on tour and she wants to be single. She wants to be single. Listen, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions, but the timing is very interesting. How before she goes on the road, she files for divorce. She wants to be single. Now, maybe her husband, Maybe he he wasn't sure about her going on a 50 date plus tour. He feels like she's going to be gone the spring and summer. Uh, and she's like, I don't care. This is what I want to do. And you no, know, we can separate. That may have been the case. She chose her career over being married. This is what it looks like. And we don't, I don't see nothing of infidelity. So we can't just put that out there because people are going to say, well, maybe he was cheating, but we don't see that though. And she still has this man's last name, which lets me know that this was a decision that she made, I believe, based off of where she was and where she wanted her and her and doing what's best for her in her career. That's what it looks like to me. It looks to me that she's doing what she feels like is in the, that's in the best interest of her and her career and what she wants. She wants to put herself first, which is fine. I think at some point we all should, you know, her, her kids are grown. Her kids are grown. She, she's not obligated, you know, to be at home with the children, you know, to be a mom, you know, she wants to go out there and she wants to enjoy her career, which is, you know, you know what she should do. I'm not saying she shouldn't, but, that may have caused contention in the marriage. And if you look at the timing of when the tour starts and you look at the fact that they are going on tour a month, just a month, just a clear month after filing for divorce, lets you know that this, you know, she was not going to miss this tour, whether her husband liked it or not. That's what it seemed like. But I could be wrong, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all in the next one.